We are following a tutorial that comprises three parts, picking a video from a gallery, uploading it to Firebase, and playing the video. In the first video, we learn about video picking and its preview. In the second video, we learn about uploading the selected video to Firebase. The third video covers playing the video uploaded to Firebase. Okay, students, let's start with the first video. To pick a video, we need to install the Image Picker plugin. Copy the dependency and paste it under dependencies in the pubspec.yaml file. There are permissions to set for iOS emulator, which are explained here. Open the iOS slash runner folder and include these keys in the info.plist file. Android doesn't need this step. Here, I have included them as key value pairs. Now, install the video player plugin to play the video. Copy the dependency and open the pubspec.yaml file, then paste it below the image picker dependency that we included earlier. Now, click on pubget to fetch the dependencies. Next, open the main.dart file. Let's create a button to pick the video. We'll use a floating action button for this purpose. In the onPressed function, we'll call the pick video function. Let's set the child of the button as an icon. Create a function called void pick video. This function should be asynchronous, so add async before the function definition. Now, let's implement the function to select the video. Create a string variable to store the selected video's URL. Let's create a new Dart file named utils.dart. Open the utils.dart file. Import the image picker package. In the utils.dart file, create an asynchronous function called pickvideo. Create an instance of the image picker, named picker. Create an X file variable called video file. Now, use a try catch block to handle exceptions. Inside the try block, call picker.pickvideo. Source, image source.gallery. Assign the returned value to the video file variable. Then, return the path of the selected video. Now, go back to the main.dart file. Import the utils.dart file. Call the pick video function and assign its value to the video URL variable. Next, we need to display a preview of the video before uploading it. Import the video player package.
create a video player controller variable called underscore controller. Create a dispose function for the controller. Create an initialize video player function. In this function, initialize the underscore controller as video player controller dot file. Pass the video file variable previously selected video as the argument. Inside the then function of initialize, use set state to update the state and call underscore controller dot play. Now, let's create a widget for the video player preview. This widget will be visible only if there is a value in the controller. Return an aspect ratio widget, where aspect ratio is controller.value.aspect ratio. And the child is the video player widget with the underscore controller. Otherwise, return a circular progress indicator. Finally, call this widget in the body. First, check if the video URL is not null. If not null, call the video preview widget. Otherwise, display a text saying no video is selected. Then, call the initialize video player function inside the pick video function. Now, run the app. Click the picker button, and the gallery will be displayed. If there is no video in the gallery, you can drag the screen to refresh it. Then, select a video. 
Choose the video. If an error is visible, check if you included the await keyword when calling the pick video function. Now, you should be able to see the preview of the selected video. In the next video, we'll learn how to upload the video. Thank you for watching.